I'm going to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Skip Bayless leaving FS1 and Undisputed. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Skip Bayless, after eight years, is leaving FS1 and Undisputed. Basically, they're really firing Skip Bayless at the end of the summer. His ratings are terrible over at Undisputed after Shannon Sharp left the show. He's getting between 100 and 150,000 viewers a show compared to First Take, which is nearly close to a million. Skip Bayless' time has run out. Skip Bayless was the top host over at First Take with Stephen A. Smith when he brought Stephen A. Smith over. And when he came over to FS1 with the new contract, he brought in Shannon Sharp, and he made Shannon Sharp into a huge star. They worked pretty good together, but the problem is that Skip Bayless' ego was out of hand. Skip Bayless started insulting Shannon Sharp openly over Tom Brady. He got an issue with DeMar Hamlin. It went on and on with Skip Bayless. He was the man of the show because he was basically the reason why the show was made at FS1. But his ego, his pride took over. And we know what the Bible says, the pride before the fall. And that's what happened with Skip Bayless. He's going to leave at the end of the summer, just like last summer when they basically cut the show off after Shannon Sharp left and they brought it back later on. But this is it, right before football season, it's over for Skip Bayless. And this might be the last time you see him on TV. You know, he's got a social media footprint. You can see him on social media, giving his commentary. But Skip is in his 70s now. And time has passed him by. And you see how huge of a star Shannon Sharp is after departing Skip Bayless. He's over at First Take with a new contract. Club Shay Shay is big. His name is big. And now that name is no longer associated with FS1 because of Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless made some mistakes. We all make mistakes. But his mistakes were huge. Because I thought that him and Shannon was friends. But it seems like Skip, the stardom, took control over his show. And it basically destroyed him. If you look at the new show, Paul Pierce and other people coming on the show, there were no, was no chemistry. It looked like Skip Bayless lost his fire after Shannon Sharp left after all the criticism that he has received over the past one or two years. And now FS1 said, hey, we no longer need your service. And they don't need his service. They have Colin Coward over there, Nick Wright, Chris Bussard. You know, they have some other talent and they probably have someone else they plan on bringing in this fall that they could put in his position. You know, Skip Bayless had a good run. And you know it all started out with cold pizza over at ESPN, about 2000. You talk about a 20-something year old, 20-year run. And that's good for somebody who was a sports writer who worked at the Dallas News, Denver, and all these other jobs that he had. But this is what happens when your ego and you start insulting people and you think that you're bigger, you can't be touched. Well, FS1, Undisputed, Fox touched him and they let him go. And nobody thought that Skip Bayless would leave this way. But last year was the sign that he was going to leave when they took him off the air for the whole summer and brought him back in the fall. They wanted to see how the show would work with all these new different personalities like Paul Pierce, 
and they found out with Richard Sherman, they thought that they could replace Shannon Sharp, but they couldn't. And when they saw how big of a star Shannon was, that really hurt the executives over at FS1 and Undisputed, that they may have lost the biggest star in sports media and kept Skip Bayless, someone they possibly should have let go. They made the wrong decision. And now they are making the final decision on Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless, you got to give him credit. If you can go for a while, sometime 5, sometime 10, 15, you had a run. He had a run. People love to watch him over at ESPN on first date. They love to watch him over at Undisputed. But what happened? Skip blew it. And he blew it right be before our eyes. Nobody wants to watch it because of what happened with Shannon Sharp. And Skip knows it. Skip knows what he did was wrong. Skip knows that it was a big mistake on his behalf. But his ego took over on him. He had to prove something to Shannon Sharp. He had to prove that Tom Brady was the greatest of all time. So if he disagreed with you, he insulted Shannon. He had to prove that LeBron James wasn't the greatest of all time, that Michael Jordan, and he had to insult Shannon Sharp. That was the point to where he lost a lot of people because he didn't have to do it. It was a debate show. He took it further than it being a debate show. And that's where he lost the public. And that's where he even lost his partner, Shannon Sharp. I don't know where he goes from here. I don't know if it's another network that is willing to pick him up. I doubt it. So I guess he'll be on X or where the social media platform is given his social media commentary after games or how he feels after football games. But it's sad to see him go because he was at one time fun to watch. He was a must see on TV. But now it's time for him to go. I would love to hear your comments in the comments section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.